Hello Virgo, this is your general love reading for the week. I'm going to take a look at the energy between you and the energy that you're connected with. We're going to do past, present, future for both of you. The overall energy for the reading is the Fool card. So are you a fool in love? Is that what's going on here? Or is this uh, a new opportunity to get it right this time? Let's take a look here and see what that's all about. Taking a chance. So for your energy, we have the Temperance card, the Two of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. The Temperance card shows that you are definitely in a good balanced place with your heart and your mind. Um, you're showing you're showing up very well in this relationship. Your energy is very focused um, on being in harmony with what you want, what you can give in this relationship what your needs are, what their needs are. And it's coming from a very calm place, which is really nice. I feel like you're really, your heart is really centered in, in this situation. Um, you're not feeling like your mind is being overwhelmed by this, this partnership, this inner, this exchange of energy. I like that for you. With the two of wands, you're definitely thinking about the future. Like what, considering like, you know, you want to take control. You want to make sure that the two of you make the right decisions. So here's where the mercurial energy comes in for you. Um, you know, you're just kind of envisioning what's, what lies ahead for us because I'm, I'm, I, I'm all in here and, uh, I feel like my partner is too, and you're really thinking about planning for the future. You have the Wheel of Fortune, and I feel like that's just really um, signifying that you understand the different cycles in life. You understand the different energies involved in a relationship, and that things, things change, things, in, things evolve. And maybe with the full card here, you're feeling like there's a significant turning point in the circumstances of your love life. And that's going to be all for the, the good. You are definitely, you're in the flow with this. You're letting fate do what it needs to do, but you're also taking control and planning the future with this other connection. And for them, they have the King of Swords for their first card. Um, this is a very logical, clear, commutative, very mature energy that you're connected with. And sometimes they can be a little analytical, um, just like you. So I feel like this is a good, this is a good, uh, a really good connection because they do have that intellect. They do have that mercurial part of themselves. And sometimes for the two of you that can, that can get away from you and you can stop focusing on each other. But I feel like with the full card, you're going to always keep coming back to the beginning and understanding where you came from. Um, and that you really want to embody and embrace love during this relationship. Yes, you have to work. Yes, you have to take care of other things. But the two of you are smart enough and intellectual enough to know that it's important to embrace that fool. It's important to have new beginnings every day with the person that you love. Really nice reading. King of Wands shows me that they, there's a lot of passion here, Virgo. They This... This person has the hots for you and vice versa. You're definitely very attracted to each other um, sexually. Uh, there's a lot of desire and passion is what I get from this. I like this. And then the Queen of Pentacles just talked about 
practicality. I mean, I think this is the perfect person for you, Virgo. They're smart. They're practical. They're passionate. Um, you know, they love you. There's a lot of energy that that's putting they're putting into creating a life with you. They're not afraid of getting their hands dirty and doing the work. They're not afraid of the cycles of life that come and go. And wow, this is really nice. I like it. A very grounded environment. Um, yeah, they, they want that peace and calm that comes with knowing that things are steady and reliable. Even though there can be some, some, some changes with the Wheel of Fortune, I think they're smart enough and strong enough and passionate enough to overcome anything that comes your way 